Hey, what is up? Everybody? This is Super Rage coming to you here today. Uh, last night, I uh, was able to check out the uh, WWE SmackDown Hell in the Cell fiasco that went down uh, on broadcast TV. Um, it was the first time that they had run a Hell in the Cell match uh, on television since, I believe, 1998 when uh, they had a uh, Undertaker, Mankind, uh, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Kane. It was like a tag match. It ended Raw. Um, there was really no ending to it. They all went in there and they all beat each other up. I know that they've ran um, the Hell in the Cell um, as like the ending to Monday Night Raws, like the, uh, the go home, uh, send home with everybody happy. Jack Swagger was actually in one of those matches, I believe in like 2013 or somewhere in that time period. Um, but I can honestly tell you that I think everybody thinks the same thing. When Hell in the Cell was first introduced, definitely that um, Shawn, uh, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker match is one that's always going to stand out as being one of like, the best ones ever. Uh, when they made the Hell in the Cell into a pay-per-view where they gave us three Hell in the Cell matches, it just basically broke down to where it was not what it once was. They took away the blood, they took away the guts, it was no longer like a horseman style on um, uh, a match that back in the day where you just got him in there and you just beat the holy hell out of each other. Basically, that's what the end of the day dreamed up. Uh, I'm going through it, picking up. Um, <laughs> but that, um, uh, oh shit, what the hell were those matches called? Um, the War Games uh, back in the day. You know, that's what those things were for. The, you know, the Hell in the Cell was basically what was supposed to bring everybody to the dance. You know, you've had a feud, it's lasted a while, but this is gonna be the end all be all of you. You're gonna go your way, you're gonna go your way, and that's it. That's what's gonna go down in the record book as being like, this is what they had a match for. And so many times in the past, um, when you've done the Hell in the Cell match, they use it as like the kickoff to a feud, where we're gonna go in, we're gonna have a Hell in the Cell match, and then we'll see you next month. Uh, where basically you're going to, you know, get into the ring and have a singles match, and we're not going to have some sort of like a major um, stipulation to be along to the match. You know, Rey Mysterio and Roman Reigns, they just started this feud because of the fact that Roman uh, was picking on his son, Dominic, I know a lot of people were openly thinking that, you know, because uh, Hell in Cell falls on Father's Day um, on Sunday, uh, that that's the reason why they pushed up this match. That Roman was just going to beat the bloody hell out of Ro uh, Rey Mysterio, where Dominic had to come down and sort of fight for his father's honor. And that was the reason why, you know, Rey was going to be hurt, but Dominic was going to step in and have one hell of a match to sort of kick off his career. You know, so many times with Dominic, we've been thinking that Dominic was going to put on the Ray mask. Dominic was going to turn on uh, a Ray, and that was sort of was going to push his career and hopefully not be the David Flair of the WWE in the, uh, the roaring 20s uh, that were in here in uh, WWE. But last night's match was honestly like, uh, basically like we've seen ladder matches in the patch for ladder doesn't even really focus into the match. The Hell in the Cell was not used but one time uh, when Rey Mysterio was picked up with a powerbomb uh, by Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns threw him into the, uh, the head of the cell uh, using it as a weapon. Then he picked him up, got him back in the ring, he locked in the finisher, choked him out. And honestly, in my opinion, if you want to show how much the Hell in the Cell really matters where it just beats people into submission, you should have not had him tap. He should have had him fight for his life and had him choked out, and that was the ending of it all, uh, much like they did over on AEW with Warlow versus Hacker last night, uh, just like you did with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hart at WrestleMania 13. You show that they put everything in to show that this match really matters, that they're not going to tap out, even if it means they know that they're going to win their last last breath of that break. Um, I, I didn't think the match mattered. Um, I'll tell you the truth. I have zero interest in watching Hell in a Cell on pay-per-view. I watched Hell in a Cell on SmackDown because of the fact that I thought they would go all out to make sure that it was one hell of a show. Even though they weren't going to hit the head against AEW, I know that people are going to compare those numbers. And as soon as they were done, I flipped it over. I watched Hager versus Wardlow um, in their... Um, MMA match, and I thought it was really good. I can't tell you honestly that one was better than the other because 
WWE, uh, I'm, yeah, you know, MMA isn't Hell in a Cell, it's not wrestling, it is what it is, but hey, you know, I gave it a chance. Uh, I know that I really didn't know a lot about the feud, but to me, it just wasn't what Hell in a Cell is supposed to be. If you're not going to use it, I understand there's, uh, there's sponsors and there's contracts with toy companies and this, that, and the other. If you don't want to show blood, you don't have to. But don't, you know, sort of teach us that that's what these matches are and then bring them and not deliver the, the, the gory guts. It doesn't need to be in wrestling. I understand that. Sometimes I believe that it, it helps. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's too much. Um, but you at least got to be going out there and using Hell in a Cell as a weapon if you're going to have Hell in a Cell matches. If not, just give us cage matches. Anyway, anything like that. I and mean, I guess we'll be complaining about cage matches as well. But it's not like when they do a cage match on Raw, anybody thinks that they're really going to you know, rip her up. It just is a match that they do. If it's a Hell in a Cell match on SmackDown, you better deliver more than that.